Hello everyone, just want to walk through a few of the uh, new features in Inspire 9.5. Probably the notable new feature in, in the product is the ability to minimize mass. So you'll now see that there's an objective that says maximize stiffness that you can now change in the run dialog. And uh, when you do that, you'll actually see now that we have uh, this stress constraint. Uh, the stress constraint uh, is defined by a, by a safety factor, so you can type that in there. And, and what it will do is it will take the, uh, the yield stress of the material, the lowest yield stress of the model, uh, and uh, divide it by that uh, safety factor. And that's what we apply for the run. Obviously, you can change that value uh, to whatever you want. Some of the other features that we've added here are one of them being the displacement constraint. And this is done graphically on the screen. You'll see it here now in the displacements tool and you can select and apply that uh, on the model. You'll see that it's, it's in uh, absolute dimension. So this is a, actually a one millimeter um, uh, radii uh, circle that you see here, the sphere that on the screen. You can also define this in terms of a, you know, you know, absolute direction. So we can go in here, I can say, I don't want, uh, you know, I don't want it to be bound at the top, but I want it to be bound by uh, 1.5 millimeters below. And you can see that uh, what it's done here. So it'll it'll allow it to move all the way down to that point. Another feature that we've added uh, is the ability to add an extrusion control. So if I, by default, uh, or or back in the older versions, we had split single uh, and stamping uh, shape controls. We've now added this extrusion control. So if you click on that, you'll see that the uh, you'll see these little I-beam uh, extrude, extruded pieces on the, on the corner so you know you're using your extrusion. And then we can take a look at some of the results. Uh, this using a single, uh, a single draw versus uh, a, an extruded uh, result. You can also see the difference between using, uh, using with displacement constraint, uh, min mass with displacement constraint and stress constraint or uh, with a single draw condition, or even using a, using a split, or excuse me, a, uh, a displacement using an extrusion control. So a lot of different, uh, different types of results, and obviously it's very easily, easily changed. You can double click and change it between any of those and rerun it very quickly. Another option that we've, we've added is this ability to export a model. So if you're in the run optimization panel and you want to take this model into HyperMesh, you can now export uh, that model right to an Optistruct file. And it will utilize the consistent unit set that you've set in the bottom right corner. So you can change this to any of these consistent unit sets and write it out. And when you import it in HyperMesh, you'll actually see it in those units. And probably one of the other big features that we've added is the ability to change the languages uh, of, the, of the UI. Uh, so right now you'll see that these languages uh, are, are available to be changed. Uh, I can maybe in this case, I'll, let me just change it to Japanese. I'll hit apply. Uh, and what you'll need to do is restart the session. So I'll just go ahead and close this session. And let me just reopen it. And you'll see it's in a different language. But this also allows you to change it back to uh, what other pla whatever language uh, you know you you previously or you want it to, to be in um, at any point. So those are some of the new features in Inspire 9.5.